Hey everybody, this is the Daily Veda, and we're going to look at the Saturn-Mars conjunction in Scorpio from all 12 ascendant signs, and what that could possibly reveal as the source of frustration, um, extreme kind of frustration that we probably haven't felt in a while, and what sort of area that could sort of be in, in our life based on this tight conjunction that's happening in Scorpio. Not to mention that in just a few days, there's going to be a solar eclipse that has a very tight aspect to K2 and Neptune. So starting with Scorpio, um, as the ascendant, Saturn is transiting your ascendant sign. And when Saturn transits your ascendant sign, it is going to be testing new regimens and new foundations that you've put in place for yourself. So with the Mars and Saturn aspect, this is going to be testing any sort of new routine that you have put in place to better yourself. This also deals with appearance. So there could be some frustration with your appearance as well as deals with the head. And as Mars deals with knives, I would try to avoid any sort of brain operation or head injury. Don't be surprised if this is somehow related to your work since Sun and Rahu is, um, transiting the 10th house of career and Jupiter was just in your 10th house. So there's been a lot of focus on career and 10th house aspects in your life over the last year. And some of that is kind of coming to a head in terms of what you need to do to continue forward and establishing this new agenda you have for your life with Saturn transiting your your ascendant. Sagittarius, the Saturn-Mars conjunction is happening in your 12th house. This is probably a very trying and difficult time for you in general, as Saturn is the planet of restriction, transiting the house of isolation and secrets and enemies. This is a frustration dealing with things you are trying to deal with and overcome because soon Saturn will be transiting your ascendant and that is a time of upheaval and personal change so there's something that you need to let go of um, and there's frustration that deals with letting go of it and you perhaps have isolated yourself and are anguished about it and with K2 being in your third house this may be dealing with the loss of third house issues but whatever it is that you're trying to overcome um, it's very difficult right now with this aspect and so it's best to put all your energy towards positive things that deal with 12th house issues and that would be charity and hospital work and philanthropy for capricorn ascendant the saturn mars conjunction is happening in your 11th house this is the house of gains and opportunities this is frustration dealing with income from your job we even see in your regular chart how K2 is in K2 and Neptune is in the second house of possessions and the 11th house is second from the 10th and is the gains that you get from your career and there's a lot of frustration that that is dealing and issue around this is coming to a head this could also be related to frustrations um, dealing with older siblings as well as friends 
um, or groups, any particular organization that you might be a member of, uh, that could be a point of contention at this time. Aquarius. Saturn-Mars conjunction is happening in your 10th house. This is the house of career and standing and position in the world. This is the spotlight. And there's something related to this area that is causing frustration. But also, this could be a very good time for you as this energy could be beneficial in this in this placement you have sun venus and rahu in your seventh house of partnership with partnership with good partnership which is something that even rahu is is stressing that you are trying to develop good partnership is going to bring structure at a fast pace to your career. And so this could actually be a situation where because of just, just because of the ascendant, um, this is actually could be a very beneficial energy timing for you where it might be time to pull the trigger, so to speak. And if you are, you know, waiting to get funding for some sort of enterprise or you are joining someone in a business sort of business related contract, things can really develop really quickly. Um, but with structure and a plan that must be, you know, you must even have that in place if, if, um, if it, if it's getting to the point where you have some sort of investment, it's also important to note that the sun rules Leo and it's in this sign of partnership. So this is favorable partnership, especially with Venus. This is good partnership. This is, this is, um, this is partnership that you've kind of been waiting for. Um, and you're giving up a lot for this partnership because you have K2 and Neptune in the first house. So you are definitely sacrificing something important you know, something personal, but it's for the, it's for the greater good of the partnership. You have Jupiter in the eighth house, which is, you know, the house of other people's money and also transformation because it, it brings in a lot of Scorpio qualities just because the eighth house is based on a lot of Scorpio attributes. So you can also be frustrated with, 10th house related issues. Um, but in general, I think that this is a favorable, probably time for you. Pisces, the Saturn Mars conjunction is happening in your ninth house. If you are a college student, this is probably a very difficult time for you since the ninth house relates to higher education there could be a lot, or I guess even if you are in the educational field, this could be just the stress of the curriculum, maybe not being accepted somewhere, or regular frustrations that deal with higher education. Ninth house also deals with father issues. So if you so you may be having an issue with your father. Maybe there's frustrations around the father. If you're traveling long distance, there might be frustrations in that area. Ninth house deals with long distance travel. For Aries Ascendant, the Saturn-Mars conjunction is happening in your eighth house. Eighth house is the house of death and sex mystery. It takes a lot of the characteristics that Scorpio is, since Aries is the head of the, of the Zodiac. So this is a revelation of something 
or this is frustration around some sort of mystery or scandal. Maybe it's an affair. Maybe it's an inheritance issue since this deals with other people's money. Maybe, maybe some sort of gossip or scandal that's been going on for some time, that's been building for some time. But this is frustration around other people's money. It could be frustration from, from um, spouse's money. Maybe your spouse lost their job and, or their, you know, their job is, their, their payment, the access to money is um, restricted in some way, some sort of frustration around it. Maybe it's a new expense. The Taurus Ascendant, Saturn Mars conjunction is happening in your seventh house. This is the house of partnerships and contracts. This could be frustration dealing with miscommunication at work. Also partners, partnerships, relationships, significant others. If you're in a relationship, this could be a very stressful time and frustrating time for you where you want to say something. If you have an outstanding contract with somebody, you're going to be feeling frustrated about it. You could be feeling very frustrated about it right now. Perhaps there hasn't been any movement on it. Um, or there or certain parties aren't following through with what's stipulated but um this is very frustrating time around seventh house at related issues partnerships people you deal with in the world co-workers contracts gemini ascendant saturn mars is happening in your sixth house sixth house deals with health and work there could be great frustrations dealing with your work environment where you work who you work with this also deals with pets there could be great frustrations around pets as well as as aunts and uncles cancer ascendant Saturn Mars conjunction is happening in your fifth house Sixth house represents your kids. This could be a very frustrating time to deal with your kids. They could be trying your patience. With Saturn Mars conjunction in your fifth house, as well as Sun, Rahu, and Venus in your second, I think that you could be experiencing a time of where you're getting a little bit of money and your kids are coming with their hands stretched out. Leo, Saturn Mars is happening in your fourth house. Fourth house deals with home and security type issues. You're frustrated either with your mother, you're frustrated with your home life or something from your home life, past from your home life. Growing up, something about that's being revealed and you're frustrated about it. It can also be home as in the country, frustrated with the country. Chances are you're going to be frustrated by something related to fourth house issues. Virgo, Saturn Mars conjunctions happening in your third house. This is house related to what you produce with your own hands. This is the house of talents. This is also the house of communications. You could be frustrated over something, some sort of communication. You could also be frustrated over something you do with your hands. This is also brothers and sisters, younger brothers, Younger brothers and sisters, that you could be there's could be frustration dealing with them. Libra, Saturn Mars conjunction is happening in your second house. Second house deals with early childhood, and so there could be frustrations right now around 
early childhood if you are in your early childhood with Libra Ascendant. Second house also deals with what we say. So there may be something that you want to say, but you can't and you're frustrated about it because the second house deals with things that come out of our, come out of our mouths. The second house also deals with possessions and money. And so there could be frustrations dealing with that. Even if there are frustrations around possessions or money, this might be a month to overcome it just because Sun, Rahu, and Venus are transiting your 11th house. And Sun is in, is in its own sign of Leo. This is the 11th house of gains. This was a brief and general review of the different Saturn Mars frustratedness and pent up aggression and anxious influence that we would that we can feel in different areas of our lives based on our ascendant sign. And this is kind of a this is obviously a very simple simplistic look at it since we are in eclipse season and this is only in between the lunar and the solar eclipse and there's going to be more frustrative acts more frustrative um, aspects and intense aspects that we're going to be coming across over the next few weeks um, but this 15 degrees in Scorpio we should pay attention to uh, we should pay attention to when other planets are coming close to aspect it when Sun does when moon does um, when Mercury does, all these planets that are kind of close to it, we should be paying attention to when they hit 15 degrees Scorpio, um, just for the sake of what we touched on in our previous video. So let me know if you have any questions or comments below and subscribe and let me know what you would like to see. And also, Stay tuned because I will be releasing a video on the solar eclipse that's happening September 1st. So, thanks.